Hello guys and today we have another review and this is kind of special because it's on the Fang aka my first ever reviewed blaster The Fang is from the Alpha Strike line and it shoots 4 elite style darts it shoots one at a time from the top to the bottom and it is a smart AR so it means wherever you put the dart you will fire first at the top and starting at the bottom You're going all the way to the bottom uh, as you go down uh, the performance is worse but still pretty decent now out of this blaster darts do stick out quite a lot on things like the, the zombie strike quadrat yes uh, it they stick out like this much it's not super bad but that does mean if you're loading it fast you might bend the darts now you also have this little orange piece which you can take off uh, i did not ever try it and i will not but you can take it off and put it back on you can mod this but not much down here you have the nerf logo which is painted there is none of it on this side this is just the warnings and all of that stuff the trigger is a plastic spring trigger but it's not the good one or the better one it's the retention one where there is a spring over here it's not really even a spring and it pushes from the bottom to the top making it super bad now yes you do have to put very little for it to actually fire but it still is really bad and I do not like it now to prime this blaster you have this staple kind of prime which you can just pull and then fire two things to note about it is uh, the quality which is that's good and the second thing is the little amount of space you have over here for your fingers it isn't a lot and i would like it for it to be somewhere around here but it isn't okay uh, i'm noticing this it really is low when i get around here it is what it is and actually there is one more thing and that is when you prime it It makes that sound. A lot of blasters that prime like this make that sound. It isn't good, but it doesn't really make a difference to me. Now the grab is special. Usually on Alpha Strike blasters there is this skeletonized grip, but on this one there is a clip on piece, this black piece which just gives you a better grip. And some people are just angry because it's just a clip on thing, but they didn't in fact then make it more expensive and it fixes the problem so I don't see any problem with it it makes it more comfy and it doesn't cost anymore this blaster does come with 10 Alpha Strike Orange darts which are the same as Elite 2.0 or Elite darts now the performance of this blaster is pretty comparable to other blasters but mine shoots really hard for some reason uh, it gets around 50 feet flat and 70 feet or more angled. One time a dart actually got onto my roof, meaning it at least would have went 90 feet. More realistically, it probably would have went 100 and more feet. So yeah, this is a pretty powerful blaster for me. I don't know how it will be for you, but for me it's real powerful. Let's go to the firing range. And then I'll talk about all the bad parts about this blaster. Some I didn't include because it's the part of this line. Let's go to the firing. Best, not range. Okay, so we are firing the X shot both of hand darts. I have four more in my pocket, so we'll shoot these ones and then the other ones. I totally didn't forget to put the pillow. Yeah, I'm only shooting eight darts, so it doesn't matter.
Okay, so beside me uh, forgetting to do one of two things that I now have to do for firing test, but this is on the H shot, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this blaster is what you expect, and for four to six euro, yeah, you you don't have anything better on the market, especially here. Even the ward, which is pretty okay, best in performance. It has problems with double firing, with this blast right never had that problem. Even in bad arts, only the worst of the worst would fire out. And one that would fire very good, the other one would just fire at like half the strength, but it still would fire. And yeah, the, the ward is $8 and it comes with two darts, they are proprietary, and it has a lot of problems of Firing a dart, the other one fires only like half the way and then you cannot fire it without pushing it back in. So, and this is without mentioning that it only has two dart capacity, this has four. Now, the bad parts about this problem is what makes Alpha Strike bad. First things, why the Quadrat is better. The Quadrat is better because it has longer barrels, so the darts will stick out less. The plastic quad is much better. It does. It isn't as creaky as some elite darts, elite blasters, but it is very, very flexy. Now you can't really see it on camera, but yeah, this thing is wobbling very, very much. Yeah, it isn't comfy to when it happens, but this is a compact blaster, so it doesn't really matter that much. Now the other problems, which. Um, yeah, I mainly because it's Alpha Strike, is you cannot open it, or you can, but you can only upgrade the spring. And you have to be careful, or might it, or it might just launch the spring out and possibly hurt you. But it is a smart AR blaster, so you don't expect to do much stuff, although you can mod it to where it shoots all four darts at once. That is pretty cool. And honestly, if I ever bought one more, or the blue one, I might actually do that. Because having a 4-shot single-shot blaster is really fun. It would be really fun. Now, of course, uh, the other problems are, of course, the plastic, as I already said, but also the design. Uh, the design isn't the best. It's orange, and then it's yellow, then orange, then it has black. This was previously orange, now it's a bit better. But, uh, I don't know, the skeletonized look isn't for me. Now, I love this blaster, yeah. Even though it doesn't have much mobility. It has long, shorter barrels, and it... You can't mod it, like, basically. But, it costs 4 to 6 euro, which is already amazing. And it's super fast, you can put it in a pocket, like, no problem. I, 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 I'm gone. Put my shirt over it and dang. Now, uh, putting in darts might scrunch them up. But hey, I have two elastics with Velcro, which I can just slide it in and damn, job done. I have a four shot plaster and it's actually pretty good for the price. Now, you could say, oh, go buy a Quadra, but Quadra has weird stuff like zombie strike grips and it being twice the price. So, yeah, what would you rather have dual VLDs or just a Quadra? Now, yes, there is the prospect, which is shit. Don't buy that. It's a burst version of this because it's the same plastic, it has a scope, which is hollow, it doesn't have any sights and it doesn't help with anything, that it has a worse grip in my mind, it's thinner, and it costs double the price. If you can buy this, buy it. If you want a bit of better blaster and you don't explicitly care about price, go buy a Quadrat. Or even better, just don't buy any of these. This I would recommend. The Quadrat, not really, but I do, again, I don't have it, so I shouldn't be saying a lot. Now, why, the, why in the hell is this video so long on, a, on the fang? Well, I really love this blaster, and it was my first review. I'm totally not gonna go uh, film the cover review after this. 
<laughs> yeah, uh, I am. Uh, now, as you might know, uh, my channel was doing okay. That it was doing okay. That it really good. And that now it's not. Now it's now it's a bit plummeting. I had a few good videos, and um, yeah, the chaos and the modules MK Rico Mark Two. And the road to my dream setup episode 3 are not doing great Like very not doing great. So I hope this Does something I think it might be that my videos are getting long and I'm just doing that again. Yeah, my name is Nick CM. Bye. Bye